Y'all ready? ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen and we have Chris here and hey. today we're going to talk about alcohol. Cue the intro. talk about alcohol and the use of alcohol in society and the reason why I was thinking about it and I think it's because I just recently stopped drinking because it doesn't make me feel good. I think I'm just a lot more aware of it and I've just been thinking about people engaging in drinking and like it being something that's just like a lot of a part of a lot of people's lives. I think about when I first got introduced to drinking. My parents didn't drink very much and so I didn't see it a lot at home. I think it was like going to parties or going to weddings and then like definitely. going into high school and that being like the cool thing to do. So um, I definitely saw it at home but yeah. growing up like it was always kind of around. Yeah. My dad had like a liquor cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we never really drank when we were when we didn't have a party. Yeah. So it was more of like a... It was like a social thing. It was, yeah. Definitely, right. definitely solely for that. Then once I started getting older... Right. Um, it was just more something everyone was doing. Yeah, it was so like the it was norm. Kind of a peer pressure kind of thing. Yeah, I don't want to like say... Kind of, right? Kind of Yeah, like so I, I started when I was like really young. Yeah. Because I had some older friends mm -hmm. and uh, we started with like Smirnoff Ice. Yeah. So kept it light, but right. you know... You know, but that was a lot probably then, at yeah, that age, yeah, right? Yeah, since then, like, you know, a lot of the functions we go to as mm -hmm. Kanadai people or even Malayali people, they're, yeah. they're, they have to be open bar. Right. Oh, so, it's, a, it's like a requirement, it right? Really and it's, it's, it really is. If it isn't, if, it, if it's unavailable, it becomes an issue. Yeah. So and then also like, the specific, specific labels, yeah. right? Like all That's premium labels are definitely a requirement for our people. When you're younger. You like try to sneak some drinks in here mm -hmm. and there, so you kind of build that habit. Yeah. Starting at an earlier age. Right, and it, it almost feels like all social settings include drinking. It does. Right, and so I think it's just people's minds kind of connect. Like, okay, I'm gonna be doing something social, and that engages with drinking. And I, I know like some people that drink on a daily basis, and we're not here to like spread any kind of judgment. I think literally I want to have this conversation just to have the conversation, to start thinking about things that we're doing or what we're noticing, just to start doing so, just exactly that. Like I want this to just prompt thought and maybe yeah. prompt conversation. I don't know if Indians in general have a, a reputation of drinking quite often, but definitely Malayali people. Alcoholism in the state of Kerala, which is where we're from, is very, oh, yeah. very high. Like the most alcohol sales in all of India, like yeah. that state. Specifically, our community, Kananaya community, has like a reputation of drinking a lot. And we were talking about that. So, and I think we the reason why is because of what you said about weddings, about events, it's very open. It's much more out of the open. I feel right. like a lot of other communities, they will try to keep it in the background, mm -hmm. whereas it's just more part of everything we, it's, it's part of the whole program. It's yeah. part of like the community. It kind of is. Right, yeah, it's a it part kind of, of like the social mm -hmm. part of our community. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but it can get to a point where it can It can be get a bad to a bad thing, right? Yeah. And I think there is definitely like alcoholism in our community that is I not agree. addressed, right? And I think some of that could be coming from seeing their parents, seeing, I, I think more often than not, seeing their fathers mm -hmm. drinking quite often at home and then it becoming the norm. Out of any other drug, it's like probably more uh, socially accepted. Right, for sure. I think because everything else is illegal, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That too. Yeah. Right, and so this is legal. When you go to an event, people are really like focused on like getting their drinks and it being an issue if if the bars close and there's nothing available. The party doesn't start till you get your first drink. Right, right? and but. so I've been thinking more about socializing and having fun without substance of some sort, and just like doing that as just like you know, just having fun, yeah. right? And I think a lot of times, like people our age is have almost kind of leaned really on it, right? Like kind of dependent on it to kind of kind of loosen up. Yeah, like we just go straight to the bar, whereas, you know, we should be like kind of mingling more. If you are leaning on it and depending on it to be social, then it's like you're always on something. I agree. And yeah. I've had a lot of friends that have stopped over the years because mm -hmm. they realized they're more doing it for 
the wrong reasons. Right. You know, but then I do have some friends that are just like really like the taste. Mm -hmm. So if it's like a, a scotch. Yeah. Or even beer. Beer yeah. is a big thing down in the south. Right, right, from, right. So a lot of people check out breweries, which I feel like it's different than the kind of drinking we're used to. They're not drinking to get drunk. Yeah. They're more drinking for, for the more, taste. Yeah, for the aspect of right. it. Right. And I think society in general, right? Like all these these things have become more popular. Breweries have gotten so popular. Mm -hmm. Like I think even activities like trolleys or I've, I've seen like the those sip and paints yes yeah, sip and paints or like this I've seen like some cycling things that oh you yeah, do. yeah yeah and a lot of Brute times place, yeah. it's just like it's just a part of the event it's a, it's a part of the activity yeah. I think about how often I I see people and interact with people sober right I mean, most of the time we do right so like when we're at work right when we're at church or wherever where we go to most of the time people are sober right but it's usually at these social settings or parties is where right 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 different. right and so in every social setting is everyone intoxicated in some way right and so is that truly who you are yeah no you're right i mean you can yeah. be a co completely different person when you're not right drinking. right even like when you do something stupid when you're drunk Right? Oh yeah, that's happened to me before. Definitely, we've all done something stupid. You said something you didn't mean to say. Yeah. Or it, you were a little too forward about things, you know? Right, right, right. And I've had some like experiences where like I've interacted with other people where they just came off in a, in a way I'm sure that they are not proud of. Yes, um, I bet you notice that more now. Since oh. you're not drinking, right? Yes, I notice it way more and I've been sharing it oh. a lot. And I've been trying to also be more open with it and addressing it better with when something happens. Cause I think a lot of times when something happens, we let it go, we're just like- Oh yeah, he was just drunk or she was just drunk. Oh, I've heard that so many yeah. times. And like, I get it, but- That shouldn't be like an automatic excuse. Right, that can't be an excuse because there's consequences to things. Always. Right? Always. And so if you do something and it affects someone, it could, it could change your life, right? Like DUIs, hurting someone, you know, yeah. getting into an accident. If, if you're drinking often, then you may be driving, drinking often, right? That's... And thankfully, you know, I'm sure a lot of us have done so, and we may have been okay, and we've been safe, and mm -hmm. nothing has happened. The issue, I think, more is not if you feel like you're okay, legally. Yeah, no, If I anything mean, were to happen. If you get pulled over, I mean, that's... You, yeah. You could get in a lot of shit, and... More who knows, importantly, who knows if you just happen to like make a swerve into some other car, you know? Yeah, so. or even like something that doesn't even, you're not even affected or you're not even impaired by the alcohol or you're not impaired by the substance, but mistakes happen, right? They're called accidents, yeah, right? That's true. And so if an accident were to just happen and someone were to get hurt or someone were to get killed, right? And so I think we just need to be more aware. I think mm -hmm. we just need to think about things through a little bit better. I just, do feel like with the use of rideshare yeah uh, it's definitely gotten better more conscious about that right i think people are, are making better decisions just being like lazy or just like wanting to save money or just even yeah. want to just have your car with you right That's like so i i just want to go there and then i want to leave when i want to leave sometimes i'll end up leaving my car when i know i'm just yeah you're like i just can't yeah. i just can't but then or think I'm about like the times where you're not like maybe wasted but you you would definitely if you got pulled over blown over Yes. Right? And so I think we're doing that a little too often. Okay. And so I think we, we need to think that through. Think about like the lives that you can affect. Because you have such a short time on this world. If you were to just shorten someone's life because of a poor decision, I don't think it's worth it. I need to get better at it too. So For I, sure. I, I mean, we I all need... I, I, I can even, say I'm an angel. No, I'm, I am not perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I even think about when I like get sleepy when I'm driving. I get oh, sleepy yeah. all the that's, time. That's the other thing. Like you'll be going out and you'll be out till like 3 a.m. And maybe you went and got some like Waffle House. Waffle House is big in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're sober by you the time... You feel good. You're sober by the time you get out. But then when you're driving home, you might be a little tired and you might... And it's just as bad. Close your eyes. Yeah. Right. You're, you it's know? just as bad. And so just like making better decisions and being more conscious of your decisions and Definitely. not just doing like mindless things and not just doing what everyone is doing and not and really thinking about like do I even want to drink do I even want to do this or am I just doing it because everyone is am I just doing this because everyone is at the bar I think another thing is like if you do do it do you know that you have the self-control to like cut off when you know you're about to go over. for sure and yeah. it's hard sometimes in social situations when you keep seeing everyone drinking mm -hmm. or 
the next round of shots are being ordered, it's hard mm -hmm. to be like, no, I can't, yeah. I can't go any further. You have to really be aware of like, where am I at right now? And what do I need to do to make sure I'm safe and make sure I'm good? Since I stopped drinking, I've saved a ton of money. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and I just feel like I'm not consuming as much empty calories. All that sugar, all yeah. that soda, like, it wasn't, it wasn't good for me. And, you know, I think it's, it's just something to think about and you just never know. It could, it could bring good things for you. I drink a lot more water now. I think it's okay to be social and go out and not drink. I think you yeah. should also try to do that once in a while if you are even a drinker. Just to kind of like see what it's like and just kind of see how you feel and not feel like, oh, I need to be on something to be out and to enjoy the company of my friends. Agreed. Yeah, and so I, I do that now. Yeah, I've and given it up a few times, uh, you know, for a few weeks and I've noticed I've gone out less. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing. Get more uh, sleep. Yeah. You need sleep. You don't feel as bad the next day. Yeah. You know? I mean, no hangovers. Yeah. So. I just am tired. I'm always tired because I like, mm -hmm. I don't know, my body's just like, girl, you're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you talking about yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you um, for inviting me. Yeah, of course. Like, I, I don't want this to come off like any kind of like judgment. It's your decision. And I just hope people make those decisions like clearly with intention. Agreed. Yeah. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See ya.